It's called the Crop Watch Podcast, and it's hosted by Extension Educator Michael Sindelar. He came on the show to talk about why podcasts are a great way for producers to get new information and some topics he's excited about covering in future episodes. Well, one of the biggest benefits with a podcast is it's something that you're not reading. So I was, when I first started my job, I was talking to a couple producers and they're like, oh boy, another blog from you? I don't know if I have enough time in my day to read another blog. So that's, you know, kind of got my idea of, okay, maybe they need to get information in a different way. So what do they do a lot of? Well, they're in a cab a lot when they're planning or they may be driving to pick pickup part, so they may have a lot of drive time. But that's a chance for them to listen to something. So that's where I was thinking, hey, let's try to get this information in a format where they can just listen to it. And you're also the host of the podcast. What are some of the topics that you guys will cover on this podcast? So the first one we covered was uh, corn residue uh, management. We're looking to um, discuss some early season corn um, issues, what to look for, kind of how to identify if you're going to have a good yield early in the season. Uh, we're going to talk about weed control, um, especially spring burn down. Uh, th that's going to be planned for March. So, and then I kind of left the suburb open just in case there is a disease issue or a weed issue or an insect issue that comes up that would be really timely to put a podcast out on how to deal with that. Excellent. And who are some of the people that you interview for the show? So I'm interviewing a lot of the extension specialists to start with or other extension educators. I did get a unique chance to uh, interview um, Dr. Virginia Jin and Dr. Marty Schmier from the USDA for the first podcast. So that was like a really nice way to get a different view on some of the research being done that's not a university view, but that's still um, data backed. And then I also plan as I meet more producers or producers become interested in possibly being interviewed, interviewing ranchers or farmers that are implementing some of the things that we're talking about. Would you say that ranchers and farmers are the primary audience for this podcast? Definitely, they're the primary audience for the podcast. What are some of the goals that you'd like to achieve uh, in the weeks and months ahead with this podcast? So my first goal is like to be consistent so that uh, everybody knows there's gonna be a new episode uh, I'm going to shoot for the third week of each month for a new podcast episode to be out. That's, that's my first one is to get that consistency down. Um, my next goal is to um, get better at the editing and the producing side of it so that way I can do more than just one interview a month so I can get up to maybe two interviews a month.